So this is the Aria Hotel and it's using a Control 4 interface for automation. Really cool here, you see Aria will come up, you have control of the curtains, kind of cool. You know. Right toe, so you can open and close those. Uh, lighting, you know, various presets. You know, it'll come down the left, and uh, you know, the desk lamp here, left lamp, reading lights, reading lights. You can turn them all on, all off, just turn it down, and uh, first entry room refreshed. It's interesting when you come in for the first time music starts playing the curtains open slowly. Kind of neat. Some uh, lighting for the bathroom as well. Bathroom mirror, bathroom lights. Those are the lighting functions. You can also have a climate control here, your temperature. Also your services. You can look up you know, how much ridiculous amounts of money you've spent in your room. Um, look up flight information. Uh, here's a tutorial about the uh, Control 4 interface. Um, cool. The end of tacky do not disturb tags. Here you have the uh, privacy button. A little light shows on the outside. I'll show you later. Um, you know, that will say whether you want your room serviced, whether you don't want to be disturbed, and you can do this right from the comfort of your bed. See, here's a pillow. Look at that. All right. Yeah, very interesting. The interface, like most of these control interfaces, is a bit slow, but um, what it makes up for in uh, speed, or, or what it lacks in speed, it makes up for in convenience. Alright, you can also control. It's kind of neat. You know, you have an um, alarm clock built into this, and also a good night timer. All right, so you can say, okay, shut everything off in 15 minutes up to um, 45 minutes in, I believe, five-minute increments. You can control your room temperature, um, turn off all the AV. Um, there's iPod connections in here, various other AV connections, so you can display all of your uh, lovely toys. Um, wake up, you can say what you want to wake up to, turn on the lights, open the curtains, blast some rock music, you know, that sort of thing. All right, so that's the uh, control for interface. Let's go back to home here. Of course, it also controls the television, volume, stations, etc. Uh, home, I say. There we go. All right. So that's control four. Now, love the decor, and you know, if you look at, you know, details like the seams, it's very very well finished here. Some places have the semblance of luxury but the craftsmanship in the room isn't all that great. Here, look at that. Look at that. Tight lines in the bathroom, everything is cocked properly. Amazing. Now this is my favorite feature out here. This is my view from my room. Um, I call this the alien landing ship pricker. Some people call it a devil pricker I suppose, but anyways Aliens don't land here because your ship will get jacked up. Alright, across from here we have the MGM Grand, lovely mountains in the background, palm trees, uh, the roller coaster there at New York, New York, the uh, fake Chrysler building, and we're across from the Monte Carlo Hotel. Uh, now, this is the uh, prettiest, ugly view of a hotel I've ever seen. Look at that. That's great. The piping is almost a work of art. You know, the duct work, electrical, AC, HVAC, it's very nicely concealed, displayed. And, you know, the, uh, the overall look here, even on this, uh, you know, non strip view, is, well, beautiful. I love this building in Aria. Look at that. Gorgeous building. Right. And the windows here wrap around, so um, this is an east view as you can tell because it's the morning and the shooting straight into the sun. Um, 
I'm sure how good the dynamics are on this camera, but you can see probably a good mm, 30 miles out, out into the distance and uh, a couple of ridges of a mountain range there to the east of the uh, Vegas Strip here. I believe uh, maybe the Muddy Mountains out there. Uh, you know, various other structures. I believe that's the theater where um, Viva Las Vegas is taking place, but maybe not because I'm not exactly sure. Um, where I am in relation to the rest of the property right now, but I'll probably figure that out before I leave. Now, here's the bed I just slept in. Obviously, it hasn't been made up yet. You know, nice little sitting area. The desk. Again, I made a mess of it. Of course, I'm up here working. Nice flat panel display. The entrance area. Now the bathroom is just gorgeous. Of course I'm now clean so the bathroom is, well, now dirty. But uh, those married folks out there watching, it's just, look at this bathroom, it's great, you know, look at that neat shower, square shower head. Uh, isn't that cool? Yeah. Nice deep soaking bathtub. Nice convenient ledge here in the shower, you know. Um, I'm thinking the uh, the uh, couples out there are thinking of the creative possibilities. All right, enough of that. Uh, you know, the commode. And uh, again, you know, you sit in here and you have, you know, ample opportunity depending on your uh, culinary delights for the day. See that, you know, it is uh, well finished. I love the wallpaper. A phone in case you can't get off the john. Right? Uh, nicely done. Frosted glass. Because, you know, alright. Isn't her sinks? It's a very nice room. You know, your, uh, some space to put your, uh, your clothes here, you know. Probably not where this sock should be, but it's folded so maybe it's a, a clean sock I don't know but it's my sock so all right then you know luggage fits beautifully in the cabinet yeah, all right and here we go a typical room at the Aria Hotel